disagree with your basic assessment of the facts. No, I understand. Thank you for your time. That was the Honorable Naomi Kushner. And what do we think about Judge Kushner around these parts? Left-wing hack. Yes, the good judge won't give me a no-knock warrant for known associates of Nelts. And that's just fine. War games, war rules. Mm. Captain Dawes, Mendoza. I... The three of us are a tribal council. And I'm very aware that we're having problems with one of the members of our tribe. He didn't take the money. <laughs> you were testing me. <laughs> well, we had to know if we could trust you. You know, from the very beginning, your partner assured me that we could. Now, you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. Yeah, he sure did. Well, I need you to go back to Nels's office and get me something that I can take to Internal Affairs. I realize that a hurricane's incoming, detectives. But this can't wait. Yes, sir. Jesus! CSI's already been through here. What's the point? Well, they weren't looking for evidence against Stoddard. Look, we find anything, we go directly to Dawes. This goes to internal affairs. Dawes can't control what happens. You do trust Dawes, right? Look, Stoddard going down doesn't look good for anyone. That Stoddard's dirty. You know it, I know it. I'll keep watch out here. You go inside, find the evidence we need to take him down. Gladly. Hey, I'm gonna look around the building, maybe poke through the trash. Good idea. Just stay in touch. You think Stoddard has friends inside the department? Probably. Dirty cops look out for each other. Let's hope they didn't pull any evidence. Wouldn't surprise me. If Stoddard was stupid, he'd be in jail.
Somebody moved us recently. was supplying the Elmore Hotel. Okay, then I can figure out this code. Hi, I found something. I'm headed downstairs. Good. I'm down here now in the shipping container. and Stoddard, on tape. Now when we go to IA, it's not our word against his. Remy was storing his cash somewhere. I bet Stoddard's looking for it too. Look in there. What the hell is this? Some bullshit I don't pretend to understand. But I looked online and the only place that sells that crap is a store called Domo Roboto at the Popcorn Mall. He wouldn't be storing his cash there. Nope. That's why I got the warehouse's address. It's worth a drive-by. comes out without me. Assume the worst. I always do! Nick, I just got word from CP about a suspicious van. I'm gonna follow it, okay? Yeah, alright. Just stay in contact.
Nick, I just got word from CP about a suspicious van. I'm gonna follow it, okay? Yeah, all right. Just stay in contact. Lousy time for a hurricane, huh? Hold it right there. Okay, you got it. This place looks locked up. Try the roof. Good idea. Uh, I'm inside a tortilla factory. Looks on the level. Police! Stop! Okay, yeah. check into the <clears throat> building. Probably still around. I want to check this out. Be on the lookout. We got a guy down. Look around. One of our guys got taken out. Someone took out one of our guys. Find this guy, put the gun far. The guy's probably still around. Check over there. We got two buildings. Lots of guards. Remember what Dawes said, Mr. Don't worry about me. These guys their rights. Look 
pulled over. Be on the lookout. We got a guy down. One of our guys got taken out. Someone take out one of our guys. Don't get caught. We don't know how many there are in there. Keep an eye out. Ready for anything. Keep an eye out. Watch for anything weird. Shoot first, don't worry about questions.
keep an eye out. Make sure no one's here. If you see someone, fuck them up. Something is going down. You see someone, shoot him. Suspect is 1027 and nearby 13. Keep an eye out. Put your hands up. Don't move. Okay, okay. If you see someone, fuck them up. <sighs> Stay right where you <clears throat> Suspects restrained. Send a pickup. We'll do 13. Get in through there. When you find Stoddard, just let him talk. Hopefully he'll say something incriminating. Guys, I don't care about your weed, right? It's in two years, it's gonna be legal anyway. What I wanna know is, which one of you moved Neltz's cash? He promised us that money, asshole. Yeah, okay. As of yesterday, I'm your new boss. Uh, do you understand what that means? What would you say if you were working a case and some asshole shows up and tries to take the credit? I would say, let's talk about it. Huh? So, let's go do that. Shall we? He just took a few guys downstairs. Okay, follow him. Sound like Nels. 
Van Weeks got that voice right. For like three days, it was this James Mason sound. No waffle sounds like James Mason. That's what about a dozen people told them. I kind of like it. Oh, I think... More accounting for taste, I suppose. <clears throat> anyway, get back to work. You need to follow Stoddard downstairs. We didn't exactly send our best devotion. You got started here too late, man. That's your problem. You're like that guy who hears about a band a week after the original drummer dies and then goes to a show and doesn't get why everybody's down. I say this is a tight operation. You make fun of me. Of course it's a tight operation, man. Nelson's a tight guy. I've been here four years, and I told Nelson I'd stay with him as long as he stuck around, man. He had vision. He could see things that nobody else could see. Like, uh, like how to make money from that shit. You know how we got the idea to launch the cash through the cartoon? This again. That was scary. It was from a ghost. Stop shit. Remy was out of the club. He met this Japanese girl. He took her home. And in the middle of the night, he wakes up. And she's watching this Japanese cartoon about a clock. So what? You're all weird and asks him if he wants to sprinkle sugar on Tommy Tom. And he's trying to figure out if that means we could be in Lights flicker when they come back. She's gone. Shut up. I swear to Christ, kid, gone. And on this TV is this waffle, right? And Remy gets it. Tommy Tommy is the waffle. And that... Hey, folks. Hey. Don't you move. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I saw oh, something oh. over here. Get back. Hey, look out. Hey, Go! Dude.
grow house. Oh boy. And there Stoddard. Right there. Just say right there. Put your gun down. How about I just holster? Drop the goddamn gun! Nick, let's just talk about it. Nick, I'm following those ship packs in the van. Negative. Do not engage them. Nick. Find out where they're going. What the hell was that? Nothing. Nothing to worry about. You can't arrest me for both dead! Come on, Mendoza. Time to get the hell out of here. These assholes are torching Nelson's operation. Oh, really? I wonder why. <laughs> Come on, Stoddard. <laughs> now, if you're gonna be in a burning building, this is the one to be in. Here I go. <laughs> Can't you tell these guys to back off? Doesn't really work like that. <laughs>
<laughs> we got it. means we help her. Come on, my car's over here. Fuck. The store's pretty deep inside the mall. So let's go get her. And they'll usually had a few guys in the mall in case something went down. That plus the guys Kai was after, plus whatever the hell else is going on. You know it's not gonna be easy, right? She's my partner! Oh yeah? It used to be my job. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. But let's just go! Then I'm taking you in. Whatever you say. Kai's in that mall, and she needs our help. Come on! Any luck? Hey, you weren't kidding about the manpower. Say what you will about Nels. We employed a lot of locals. So Nels has a Japanese toy store. I'm guessing he stashed some money there. Kai! Kai, I can hardly hear you! Whatever she said, it didn't sound good.
Release. Freeze. Now. <clears throat> under arrest. Okay, man. I just work here, man. Sorry. Thanks to you, we're off the books. You know, Nick, you really think I'm the only dirty cop in this town? Nope, but you're the only one I caught. And you still haven't arrested me. Pretty sure that makes you guilty of collusion. Yeah, just keep talking, Stoddard. Get in the security room and look for Kai. Jomo Roboto! That's Nelts' store! It's got plenty of customers! Get used to it. As soon as we get out of here, we're taking you straight to IA. Let's just focus on the get out of here part first. Okay? Get out of here. 
Mendoza. You really plan on letting these assholes get away? Stop! <clears throat> Sergeant Carl Stoddard, you have the right for once in your goddamn life to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's enough. Everything you need to know is on here, Captain. Let me guess. You started the drug war. Encouraged one crew to wipe out another until none of them was left. None except his, sir. Hmm. I have a lot of evidence linking Nels to a rogue Miami detective, but it's all vague. <laughs> I had a lot of faith that you would find the last conclusive piece, and you did. Thank you. What the fuck? Hey, Nick, just so you know, I really appreciate you saving my ass back there. Love and beyond, man. Fuck you. Nick, don't. Kai. IA is gonna find a stack of cash back at your apartment. $33,000, in fact. The exact sum that Nels moved in his last transfer, so... The question, of course, will be... What did you do with the rest of it, detective? What the hell are you doing? Oh, well, Kai went to bat for you. More than once. Why don't you just take the damn money? Is that what this is about? Nick, we tried! I was so certain that we would find a place for you with us. But no. You're convinced that you're just one of the good guys. Aren't you? There's no such thing, son. <laughs> 